Mornings in Arundel ran like clockwork. The scents of freshly baked bread drifted from the bakeries. The delicious smell started a chain reaction. It woke the children who woke their parents who went to the market to buy the bread to fill their bellies and start the day. In the castle, Anna and Elsa also walked to smell of bread baking. They followed the wonderful scent into the kitchen. There, the castle chef was waiting for them with two small loaves of bread fresh from the oven. Good morning, ladies, he greeted them. Good morning, he said Elsa and Anna. The chef wrapped the warm loaves in handkerchiefs and handed them to Anna and Elsa. Today, the sisters were visiting the busy market square. They would take their breakfast with them. Elsa and Anna thanked the chef. They gathered their clothes and set out up for town. As they walked through the village, they saw the market come to life. Merchants opened their shops and set out their wares. It was officially time for the day to begin. Anna and Elsa passed a line of villagers waiting to buy ice cream. Ice was important to the kingdom of Arundel, especially during the warm summer months. The townspeople used it to keep food fresh and themselves cool. Even though Elsa could form ice with her special powers, she only used her powers for emergencies. Arundel's ice was supplied by the ice harvesters, who work high in the mountains every morning they be, they delivered ice to the castle and the town as the sisters approached the square they noticed a crowd of people gathering along the edge of the market i wonder what's going on said elsa let's find out anna replied they hurried across the busy square by the time they reached the other side the crowd had grown twice as thick I can't see a thing, Anna exclaimed. She hopped up and down and peered between villagers' heads. Easy there, jumping bean, Elsa said. She gently tapped a tall man standing in front of her. Excuse me, sir, do you mind we come through? The man smiled at Elsa and stepped aside. Make way for her majesty, he called. The villagers parted, clearing a path for Elsa and Anna. The sisters found their way through the group of townspeople. When they reached the front of the crowd, Elsa dead. Sitting on a cart in front of her was the strangest construction she had ever seen. It was a huge barrel open on one side. It was filled with all sorts of odds and ends, including a moldy wedge of cheese. There were pulleys, levers, shoots and deers, a wooden wheel with an old snowshoe attached, set beneath a bucket full of what, what looks like marbles, and a path of stream belched from a rusty food tin. What in the world, Elsa said. Anna blinked, fascinated. Is that a goat horn? She asked, pointing to one of the machine's many parts. Who, who, cried a friendly voice. A tall, barrel-chested man with a reddish blonde beard greeted them. It was Oten, the owner of Wandering Oten's trading post and sonar. He placed a hand proudly on the strange device. May I introduce my latest invention? Wow, that's amazing, Oten. Anna said she stared at it for another moment. What is it? It's the best thing since Jalsburg cheese, Oten answered. Uh-huh, what is it? Anna asked again. It will change the face of Arundel forever. Right, but what is it? The suspense is killing me. Anna said excitedly. An ice machine, Oten announced, beaming with pride. Oh, I see, Anna replied, but she didn't really. She looked to Elsa for an answer. Elsa, sh Elsa shrugged. She was just as puzzled as her sister. It cast the eyes here, yeah? Oten explained. The crowd of villagers looked equally baffled. They mum 
murmured to each other in confusion. Open ice machine was clearly handmade. Wooden planks had been haphazardly ha- nailed together, and several parts were attached with shoestrings. One deer looked like it was held in place by chewing gum. Overall, the machine looked very unsteady. It didn't look like it could cut bread, let alone ice. I come from a long line of inventors, Odin said. Maybe you've heard of my great-uncle John. I don't think so, Elsa said. He's famous for inventing the hyphrasling, Odin told them. Elsa and El and I looked at the Odin blankly. It is the greatest cow carrying device known to man, boasted Odin. Right, Anna said, um, why do we need to carry cows? To move them from place to place, Odin replied. Couldn't you just hurt them? Anna asked. Why hurt them when you can carry them? Much nicer for the cows here. Yeah? Curious, Elsa walked around the cart. She studied the ice engine from every angle. How did you come up with this, Oten? she asked. Funny story, Oten said. I was sitting in my shop after my big blowout sale. I had so many items left over. Show sn- snowshoes, ropes, food things, I thought. Oten, you should make something with these items, yeah? Oten smiled. He takes off into the distance as if relieving a beloved childhood memory. So I gathered everything together and began to build. He continued, I had no idea what I was making, but after an hour or two, I had made an ice cutter. Oten clapped his hands delightedly. I thought, Oten, great uncle Yar is so proud of you. That's a wonderful story, Oten, Elsa said, but the ice harvesters have been cutting ice by hands for years. I know this, Oten said. They are always buying boots and saws and ropes and big access from my store. They are my best customers, I thought. Hoo hoo, Oten, you can help the harvesters. Anna squinted at the ice engine. You had no idea how it worked. She had no idea how it worked. Maybe you could give us a demonstration, she said. Yes, that was my plan, Odin told them. I was going to be to the frozen lake in the mountains to try it out. But this crowd of curious onlookers stopped me. I thought, Odin, you must tell these people about your invention. Well, you told us, Anna said. Just so, Odin replied. And now, if you will follow me, I will show you.